Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the Windows Print Management Utility and this could be found in pretty much all recent versions of Windows, probably going back to Windows 7 and then also the uh, server versions of Windows. And what this is, it's an MMC console, uh, just kind of lets you see all your printers and drivers and deployed printers all in one place. It's kind of like similar to when you go to devices and printers, but you get more information out of the Print Management Console. Uh, to get to it, uh, the easiest way, depending on what version of Windows, if you have administrative tools and an older version, it should be under that or under a server version. If not, you can just click on Start and go to Print. Start typing in Print Management and it'll be there. You could do it from Cortana as well if you're in Windows 10. And then once you're here, it will show you all your printers. So on this computer we have these printers installed. And we should be able to change the detail and get some more information. And you could do the same kind of thing, you know, double click it like you can when you go to uh, devices and printers and do the same get the same kind of screen uh, if you were to actually double click it if you right click and go to properties that kind of thing but in print management you have more uh, things you could do like with drivers and so on it's just kind of like an all-in-one place to check for your printers and your deployed printers it'll come in more handy if you're on a network where you have network printers and that kind of thing just for easy management and once you're here, you can see all the drivers that are installed too. Let's go look at the details here. You know, you can see the environment, one driver version, and like you can see, like here's our DeskJet 940 driver, which we saw in right there. And then if you had printers that weren't ready, they'd be showing up here. Printers with no jobs show up here. And then this shows your print server. So in this case there's only one print server which is the local machine here but you could have multiple print servers and then manage them from here if you wanted to add or remove a server you could do it that way and then just manage multiple print servers on your network all from one location instead of having to log into that computer to manage its servers and so well, the drivers installed on this print server right here are shown here kind of the same thing but from this area compared to here you could right click add a driver and let's say you're going to add a new printer to the network and you just want to install the driver one time and not have to install the print driver for every workstation you attach to it. You just install the driver on the print server and then when you connect to this print server it already have the driver and it could download it to the local PC and set it up that way. And you could also remove drivers and check driver properties You know, if you want to go get some more details about it, that kind of thing. Forms are like for your, you know, uh, specific paper size and envelope size, that kind of thing. And you can manage the forms there too and you know, delete them or save them or create a new form with specific sizes and that kind of thing from there. Ports is where your printer ports are. So on this computer we have you know, local printer ports, we have an HP ePrint, uh, PDF port, and then our COM ports. And let's say you wanted to add a new port, just right click, add a port. And let's say you want like a TCP IP port for a network printer. You could just go through there and do the wizard and go through, put an IP address and that kind of thing. And then you'd have your new port there ready to go for when you attach the printer. And then this right here shows the same information here with the printers, but you could, you know, do things from here where you can't up there, like right click and uh, add a printer and, you know, change the view. So it's the same kind of thing. You know, so when you go in there, it's going to say you want to do a TCP IP printer, local printer port. Uh, com, you know, COM port, HP port, that kind of thing, or add a new port, and so on. And then finally, deployed printers. Let's say you were deploying printers via group policy. So when people log on a certain com to a certain computer or, or as a certain user, they're going to have that printer available for them on their workstation. That way, they don't have to go install a printer or find it on the network. So it it just knows to deploy that printer on that workstation or for that user so it's ready to go when they get there. So that's pretty much the basics for print management. You know, if it's on a single computer, it's not going to be too fancy because, you know, you could do most of the stuff through the, um, you know, devices and printers. But if you're managing multiple print servers, then it's a real easy way just to get them all in one place and do what you need to do from there and without having to log into the uh, specific print server itself. Alright, and that does it for print management. Thanks for watching.